today's tutorial, we're gonna remove this starfish here who doesn't look like he's doing all that well. So let's go ahead and help him out and get him out of there. And it's gonna open up this entire scene so that you can put anything in it that you uh, would prefer other than uh, the upside down starfish. Okay, first thing you wanna do is uh, go ahead and rasterize this layer. Let's go ahead and do that. And then let's go ahead and go over and get our lasso tool. And you can use the shortcut, the keyboard shortcut L for that. And then let's just go ahead and go around this guy. Make sure you get the shadows in there. And you don't want to get too close. Leave some room where Photoshop can do its thing. Let's go around. And then you want to close it up right there. Now this is your selection. Now Go ahead and right click inside that selection and you're going to choose fill then you want to choose content aware and the rest of this is fine and then once you hit ok uh, photoshop is going ahead and calculate what the background should look like based on the surroundings and it does a pretty good job check it out boom there you go looks pretty good to me yep they did a pretty good job Photoshop did it very fast very quick and it looks very nice very nice here's another quick tip I'm coming from CS3 to CS5 I know in CS3 when you want to place an image inside your Photoshop file you had to go up to file place and then you have to look for your file or whatever to put in there well, in CS5, it is much easier. You just grab it and drag it and drop. How cool is that? I use this all the time. I can't tell you how much time it has saved me. It's great. Absolutely great. Okay, let's say that someone took a snapshot of you and your girlfriend. Now, your girlfriend is pretty hot, but this lady over here is hotter, so you want to sort of dull out everyone at the party and sort of focus on you and your girl. Okay, how about that? Simple way to do that, make it look interesting, is to go ahead and let's go ahead and make another one, duplicate it, and then we're going to go ahead and wrap right that layer. And then we're going to go up to filter. Blur, Gaussian blur. And then it's gonna bring up this little doodle -doo here. Then you see it right there. So is she blurred out enough? Uh, let's see, we can take it up a notch. Ooh, yeah, well, yeah, that's good enough. Let's leave it there. Okay, and then you wanna go ahead and get your uh, eraser tool, and we definitely wanna bump that up in size and take the hardness off. Let's go ahead and bump that up to about down to about yeah right there that's good and 12 so the opacity I think that's pretty good to start there and then let's just start bringing us or you and your girl into focus there you go just like that there you go and then just play with it work it until you get to where you think you guys will be happy to a little party yeah, there you go. Perfect. Now you guys stand out and everyone else is blurred. There's actually another way to do that. Let's go ahead and just take that away. Let's go ahead and take the layer again. And we're going to rasterize it. And we're going to click on our mask tool there. Oops, we forgot to blur it. We gotta blur it out first. Let's just go ahead and step back. Let's just go ahead and now filter. Let's do the Gaussian blur again. Boom, there we go. Now let's go down to our mask tool and we're gonna do a gradient. And we're gonna use radial blur and gradient. And start in the center, work our way out. Boom, there you go. 
That's another way of doing it. Let's just take it a little further. There we go. It does the same thing. Let's just. A little I like using the eraser tool because I like more control, but you can do it this way. It just it works just as well. And there you go. And if you want to spend some time on it, you could actually go in and um, color, tint the whole thing, and just make it look really, really nice. But that's just a quick tip. And I hope you guys can use that. And until next time, take care.